Well, it is a bit of a interesting video for those interested in the more technical side. I have, as you know, these two two steps. This one I picked up a few weeks ago. A friend had bought it and couldn't get it going, and I tried to help him, but it weren't happening. Anyway, it turned out to be the ROM cartridge. Or the ROM. Not 100% sure yet. Anyway, that aside, this is my two step, which works, as you know. That's the ROMs. There's four of them. Nice and neat. Nice and easy. Later, bell fruit, black boxes, all of them have got the same configuration. This one comes here, and I see one ROM piggy banked on top of another. Now, how does that work? The guy I bought the machine off hadn't really noticed. He knew there was something odd about it because he said that the, it looked like it had been welded in the socket. Well, they're soldering in that link there. I've just been sent this back by someone, by the way. So I'm hoping this is working. But, yeah, very weird. There's two ROMs there. There's A and then B underneath, C and D, as opposed to A, B, C, D. Anyone know why? Any, anybody know why? I mean, my only guess is, obviously, this ROM cartridge is out of an earlier machine or it's a different ROM cartridge altogether. I do not know. So there you go, there's something a bit interesting. Normally all the, the black boxes, the early ones have two ROMs and the later ones have this setup. This I've never seen and certainly I've never seen one ROM soldered on top of another. Has anyone else? Does this happen in other techs? Just interested to find out really. So hopefully these will work. I'll do a little video if they are. If not, you won't even see this one. So black box bell fruit roms, just an, an interesting point. I, I can't get over why, why why that is, but there you go. It is what it is. See you in a bit.